Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with the adorable Stray on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, I should be talking quiet at the moment because Ginger is currently sleeping. But unfortunately, this is a YouTube video, so I need to talk very loud and very enthusiastically, which I literally do neither of those things. But yeah, in the previous video, we got quite a few things done. Firstly, Ginger made a new friend named B12, who is a droid that has lost his memories. And if I remember correctly, he needs to get to the outside world, the same as Ginger, because he needs to find his scientist owner, if I remember correctly, but I might be getting that completely wrong. We also got our very own backpack for Ginger, and she really didn't like wearing it, and she literally glitched out and just laid on the floor broken. <laughs> but after a while, she got used to the backpack, and we're now wearing it like an absolute fashion icon. We then uh, got chased by those weird cauliflower monsters again, and we've now arrived in the slums, which seems to be the poor area where all of these poor machines are living. Bit weird, because I don't think a robot can be poor, but we're living in this area of like poor robots. And we've spoken to one robot who has told me that if I want to get to the outside world to find the scientist for B12, and to also find... Ginger's family, we need to speak to somebody named Momo. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to speak to somebody named Momo and we are going to see if we can uh, get any information about getting to the outside world. So let's get straight into things. Sorry for the long intro, but there's always quite a few things I need to uh, talk about. I always like to remind people what happened in the previous video, because sometimes it's like 48 hours since I uploaded the previous episode, and you might have forgot what happened. Some people might have not even have seen the previous episode, that's why I like to do it. I know it frustrates some people, but this is how I do things, and if I don't do it the way I do it, it balls up the whole video, so I need to do things my way. If you don't like it, well, that's just a bloody shame, ain't it? Plenty of other channels playing Stray. Not as good as mine, though. Oh, Ginger! We already did it in the previous video, you get a trophy, but I was hoping that Ginger would do it in one, like an absolute legend, but apparently not. Okay, so um, so if you press down on the uh, D-pad, um, you'll get hints from B12, but we don't need any hints. We need to get up there to that location right there. We also picked up a tin of drink in the previous video from that vending machine down there, and I think we, um, I think we bought the music sheet. But we need to also find some detergent so that we can buy that uh, box of electronic cables over there which we can use to make something else. So there's going to be quite a few things we're going to get done in today's episode. Okay, right. So I think if I remember correctly, the uh, detergent that you need to find to trade with that shopkeeper is in here. Yeah, and I don't think she opens up the door. Are you one of the troublemakers playing with the paint buckets on the roof? Keep your paint away. I'm tired of cleaning my stoop before of... Keep your paint away. I'm tired of cleaning my stoop because of your mess. Don't you mean step? <laughs> Maybe she means stoop? Well, that was a stoop. But that's a very big hint there. So if somebody's playing with paint cans and she's sick of having to come outside to clean it. So if we can make a bit of mess... Maybe she'll open up the door and we can go in there and get the uh, detergent. <coughs> How you been, Ginger? You had a nice little sleep? <coughs> That's good to hear. I don't know if I need to... Careful, I need to focus. I don't want to drop another bucket. Okay, I think maybe we need to meow. Am I too close, maybe? A little chatty. That's the meow in a hundred times. 
How come zero? You're not dropping it. Oh, I need to press triangle on him. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that should make much of a difference, but never mind. She is furious. Or he. You never know if these robots are blokes or birds, do you? You never bloody know. Okay. Uh, before we go down there and we grab the detergent, as we're already up here, we might as well go and speak to uh, Momo. It kind of reminds me of that very, very weird, creepy thing that was going around a few years ago. Maybe in like 2018, possibly. This thing called Momo. It was like some sort of weird hoax about... It being so scary and so jump scary that it was making people die from a heart attack and all this weird shit in the news and it ended up being some like weird sculpture I think in like some Japanese museum or something but it is a very freaky looking thing so do not google Momo unless you like horror you might like it but it was flipping dodgy it was so dodgy it scared the shit out of me but then again everything creepy scares the shit out of me <laughs> Alright, so Momo should be up here. Hopefully Momo doesn't look like the thing I just spoke about, otherwise we're going to turn the game off right now. Outsiders. <gasps> oh my god, we've just found Cat Heaven. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes, here we go. This is why you're bought stray. No one cares about the uh, random dystopian cyber city. No one cares about that. We all just want to play as a cat that can push around a little jingly ball. Why the hell has he got a jingly ball in his house anyway? You already got a pet cat, mate. That'd be pretty damn good, wouldn't it? Hey, look. Macabre Gamer's favourite carpet. Oh no, there, there it is. This is Macabre Gamer's favourite carpet. <laughs> oh man, I hope you ain't watching this video. Okay. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey you, what do you want? That's a bit rude. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, what do you want? Oh, I need to show you your photo, don't I? This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you lonely loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. Oh, come on, Momo. You're not alone, buddy. There's quite a few people downstairs. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that f f fucking transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Momo's notebook, one of four, gained a new item. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsiders Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. Oh, is that what the uh, little little cauliflower monsters are called? Zerks. Ah, oh, sweet. At least we know what they're called now. We can stop calling them cauliflower monsters <laughs> or spicy nuggets. It is signed Clementine... Baltazar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. That sounds like a pretty damn good idea, B12. Also, uh, B12, uh, the developers of this game, are called Blue 11, uh, Blue 12, and uh, their logo is B12. B12. <laughs> so they've obviously named the robot uh, after their uh, development company, so that's pretty damn clever. That's very clever, actually. 
I think there might be a music sheet in here somewhere. I can't remember where. I love these things. My nan and granddad used to have one of these in their house leading to the kitchen. Oh, here you go. There's a memory as well. Oh, back home too. I remember this video game. It was made after I was created, I think. I can't remember it well. Could have been a good game then, could it, mate? The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Oh, don't worry, buddy. We'll find out. We'll find out who he is, and we'll take you home, buddy. Don't worry. Lovely. Back home too. I'm pretty sure there is a music sheet in it somewhere. Oh, it might be in here. Yeah, because it it's very awkward to even know if you can go in there. Because it's so dark, it looks like it's just part of the door. I think it's up here. Yeah. If you're uh, having trouble finding any collectibles in this game, uh, the hints in this game are sublime. Because obviously Sony has been involved with this game. They've obviously given them some money for the uh, console exclusivity and that. They've uh, added a lot of very good features for the PS5. You've got the great, you've got the great DualSense implementation, and you've got all of the uh, game help and game hints being used and stuff like that. And the trophy hints are sublime in this game. They basically tell you where all the collectibles are, so uh, you shouldn't have no trouble. <laughs> This symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Yeah, that sad face over there is the symbol of the Outriders. So that's what you're going to be looking for, because it doesn't really tell you where to go. Man, the sun has got very bright. Jesus, I'm being blinded at the moment. <laughs> that seems like a lead. All right, so we're finding all four of the notebooks of the Outriders. At the moment, we've got Momo. We need to find Balthazar, Doc, and Clementine's notebook. Uh, before we actually we'll head over there we'll grab that notebook and then I think what we will do is we'll go and grab the uh, detergent those circles of light are pleasing to watch but I want to see the real sky one day Yeah, because uh, I think you sort of find this out. I don't know if we've already found it out or not, but I think this uh, this game's a little bit like uh, Lost in Random, where the city has been divided up into classes. So at the moment, we're in the slums, where all the peasants will be. And there's a place called Midtown, where the more posh, well-off people will be. And I think this city, but when the humans still lived here, was uh, in encased in this giant dome. The Simpsons, the movie style, and this giant dome has got lights on it to simulate the night sky. But I think this is actually a dome, and the outside is beyond that dome, if I remember correctly. And I think the Zerks might be the reason for that dome, possibly. But I'm not 100% sure. You do learn a lot of stuff in this game, mostly from like memories and speaking to random characters and stuff. Just going to come over here, because there is a drink machine here. I'll show you where the other three drink machines are. Actually, I'll show you where they are right now. You've got, you've got one here. And then if you drop down over here, I think there is another one. Uh, I don't know where it's best to drop down. Might be best to drop down around this side. Yeah. Let me quickly go into the other location first. And grab the other notebook. Otherwise, we're going to have to climb all the way back up. Okay. Now I know there is a music sheet in here as well. There we go. This game is beyond stunning. I, I love it so much. I really do love this game. It's such a unique game though, not even just the fact that you're playing as a cat, just the world and the characters and how it works with the gameplay. It's just a very, very, very good, clever game. These indie developers are absolute masters. I don't know why these big AAA companies don't do stuff like this. Like the amount, amount of employees that Ubisoft has got. They could make countless games like this and split their thousands of employees into small studios and they would be able to make thousands of quality games like this if they just let them do what they want to do. Oh, there we go. 
And outside a notebook is the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. Oh sweet. Sounds terrific. I talked to Momo earlier. He's eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay B12. Okay. So the transceiver is what they've used to contact other people beyond the slums of the city and the transceiver broke and that's why Momo was sad because the transceiver's broke so he can't contact his uh, friends to see if they're like okay. Alright. Right, so the next... I think there's one... Yeah, there's one over there. Oh yeah, yeah, there's one up there as you can see from the sad face. That's where Momo lives. There's one there that we need to do another notebook and there's one over the back over there you see that sort of little bit of blue at the back that's where the other notebook is but before we do these two let me just quickly show you where the drink machines are because one of them is very well hidden very well hidden <laughs> it's flipping sneaky as hell I feel like they've done it on purpose oh look and another memory over here so there should be a drink machine yeah there we go me quickly. I don't need to ask B12 for help. Right, let me press down, otherwise that ain't gonna vanish. <laughs> I think the outsiders seem to live in the upper flats. We won't find anything in these narrow streets. Okay, thanks for the tip. I already know B12. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Rest in peace, humans. <laughs> Love heart. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. Finally, some good news. What do you think it feels like being dead? No comment. No comment, B12. Otherwise, I'm going to say something very dark. I know it's silly coming from me, but are they actually at peace? Probably. Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. Probably when you're low on battery, it probably feels like that, mate. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. It's alright, B12. It's alright, buddy. I understand, mate. <laughs> these have got to be the greatest drink machines in the world because in real life, you put money inside these gits and they still don't give you your bloody drink or your food. In this game, you tap it. Oh, what? What are you looking in the bins for? What you got there? Yeah, watch this, Wolf and Wolfers. Watch this. Look, look, this is this is why it's a ten out of ten. <laughs> oh fucking hell! And what? Ready? Uh, hopefully. Oh, I don't think there's enough room. But if there's enough room, they completely fall over and face palm, face plant the floor. It, it's hilarious. Bit cruel, but hilarious. Might as well grab the detergent while we're here. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. Oh man, she's she's fucking livid. She is foaming at the mouth. Right, the detergent is up here. As you can see, it's very flipping camouflaged. There you go. So we've now got the item. And we need uh, one more tin of drink, and we should be able to uh, buy the rest of the stuff from that shop. There was another game that was uh, an indie game. I think it was announced during Xbox's uh, E3 conference, uh, or Summer Game Fest conference, I guess. But um, I can't remember what it was called. It's a timed exclusive, so it will be on PlayStation in the future, possibly Nintendo as well. But... Um, it's basically a game where you have your very own machine and you travel around this like beautiful area just cutting down stuff and gathering resources to build stuff if I remember correctly but that game looked pretty damn good. It looked very nice actually. Oh, I think it might be... It's somewhere around here I think. 
you'll know where it is because there's a bunch of like beams of wood that lead to it. I think it I think it was near the grandma robot. Uh, is it? Oh, oh, my, oh there, there it is. Yeah, so it's not near Grandma Robot. So if you let me go down here, then. So you've got this guy here. Where's Grandma Robot? So I can show you all where it is. All right, so Grandma Robot's there. So you come back here from Grandma Robot. You come round here. Walk past this very unhappy-looking fellow. Might not be unhappy. I'm not sure. And then you turn around and the drink machine is up there. And then we're going to jump on these beams. It's very well hidden. I don't even know how I found this one. I think it was just an accident. <laughs> there you go. Oh shit, I want to jump on them. You're right, buddy. Let me have a chat with this guy. So if today is yesterday is tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday today, right? This is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. Well, I don't know, I suppose you could still kill yourself like a human would, but you'd have to like, I don't know how you do it, just destroy yourself I guess. Jump into a grinder or something mate. I don't recommend doing it, but you know, you, you could end it if you wanted to. This is a grandma. Oh, heaven. We're not going to speak to Grandma just yet because I don't have the uh, electric, uh, the electronic cables. Which we're going to get now, though. Okay. Right. So we've got the detergent, so we can grab this first. Hello again, what do you want now? This is a set of electronic electric cable, the best of the market. I'll exchange this for a super sprite detergent. That's the best I can do. Here you go. Thank you, mate. And then we've got this right here, which I don't think I've actually picked this up off camera. I've got the tins of drink, but I don't have this, so I don't even know what this is. This is an ancient relic, a testament to the talent of our ancestors. It will cost you free energy cans. I can't do less. Here you go. Oh, it's a memory. Oh, so that's where the last one is. I've only got one left to find. <laughs> This is an early model of a companion. Back then they did they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. That's what I feel like, mate. I think it's nice that they eventually mimic humans. It's like they missed them, and in a way, they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. Lovely. We're doing pretty well with the memories at the moment. Okay, right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to grab the other two notebooks. So there's one up here that I think we can possibly reach. It, it, you can platform in a lot of places in this game, but you've got those occasional metal spikes that are used to stop pigeons and stuff that stop you from being able to jump to certain areas, so sometimes you can't always platform where you want to platform. <clears throat> Which is a bit of a nightmare if you're doing a speed run. <laughs> Look at this place! Look at all these books! Oh man, we could jump on so many piles of books. This is heaven. Oh, 
the books we can knock over. Use safe. Oh, that's where the um, that's where the uh, the notebook is going to be. Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Gained a new item. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Just the librarian. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to use that to open up the uh, safe. I think there might be a music sheet in here, though. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Alright, Ginger, you carry on, mate. We're going to have to call your bait open. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. <laughs> oh man, you died in a library. What a boring place to die. To any of you book lovers out there, I know you're going to be mad with me, but I'm not a fan of books. Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be, a, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. Sweet. I hope we get something like that. I have it pretty good, it'd be like Dying Light 2. The initial attempt was explosive. <laughs> I might have to test it under real conditions. Yeah, that does sound like a good idea. Let's find the other notebooks. Well, there's only one to find, so it's actually, let's find the other notebook. We've already got three. Okay. So the final one is gonna be basically right next to where we was at Momo's house. Momo's house over there. So that's where we jumped across and then we come across here. And then you can see the Outrider symbol. Ventilation power supply. Ginger. Oh, you poor little kitty. <laughs> my, my, she, just, she just made a very sad noise through my control. Oh, you poor little... But you're, oh, oh, gee. Oh, my God, Ginger. Back up a little bit. I can smell your breath. Very fishy. Got anything you want to say to the uh, audience? That's cute. Why you, why, you, why you turn to a ghost, Ginger? There we go. Oh, I wanted to get a close-up of your face. Oh, look. There you go, Ginger. You probably need a drink after all the platforming you've been doing. <laughs> oh man, I've been recording for uh, over 30 minutes, I think. Jesus, see? That's when you know you're playing a quality game. That is genius. So where's the uh, where's the notebook at? Oh, well, that's that's annoying. <laughs> Finally, the last notebook. 
Sure. This one seems to belong to somebody named Baltazar. Hope I'm saying that name right. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an uh, inconceivable rate. As if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Sweet, and he's also going to be pretty damn happy because he'll be able to contact his friends. So it's, uh, it's a win-win. Very nice. Oh, look, there's another memory down there. Alright, come on, Ginger. Don't be a little pain in the butt. There you go, buddy. I bet your paws are hurting. <laughs> they must be stinging for all this jumping. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. That is true, it really is. There are certainly death, these are certainly desperate times. They are, they really bloody are desperate times. Okay, uh, I think we wanna go back up there. I think that leads to Momo's. I like these little, uh, these little, like, I guess they're fast travel points, I guess you would call it. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, we'll speak to Momo, and then I'll have to end it for today. He should be bloody happy, though. You bet, be. Oh, Hey little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Oh, you found Clementine's notes. She was really brave, you know. The most fearless person I have ever met. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really a huge nerd of electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. This is Balthazar's notebook, right? I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks. Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible! <laughs> look, look at his face. <laughs> that means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Balthazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our calls. I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now, let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Voila! <laughs> I think the developers of this game are French as well. Et voila! It works! Come with me! A little bit of French, a little bit of Italian right there. Quality accent right there, wouldn't it, Wolf of Morphets? Hey, watch this. Watch this. Yeah, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? I'm messing up your carpet. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thanks for the ball, though. Oh, nice pile of books you got there. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of the tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. 
You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Okay, well, I'm not going to jump out there just yet, buddy, because I've got to end the video. So, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolfets. Hopefully you have uh, enjoyed this third episode of Stray on the PlayStation 5. You got anything you want to say to the audience, Stray? What was that? What was that? Something Sa about... Something about subscribe to my YouTube channel. Because I deserve it. And you've been uploading videos for nearly nine years, every single day. Sometimes double. And yet, you've only got 6,000 and something subscribers. And that is bloody ridiculous. <laughs> so what, what i got to do? Subscribe. Share. And like. Oh, sweet. Well, you heard what the cat said and you can't, you can't ignore a cat. You can ignore me, but you can't ignore the cat. Look at it. Ginger's adorable. Anyway, thanks for watching Wolf Wolf Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And like Ginger said, like, share, and join the pack tonight.